In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Twisby VAC Mini. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Twisby VAC Mini. It has a very clear polycarbonate body. The body is faceted, as is the cap. Now, it's not a, a diamond facet shape, kind of like the Twisby diamond is. It's more of just straight facets, but very nice looking. I really like the clarity of the polycarbonate. It has chrome accents. So the, the ring down here, the cap ring, which says which is kind of etched with Twisby and Vac Mini Taiwan. And then up here we have the chrome clip. It's quite a, a robust feeling clip. The connection to the cap is pretty thin and you can kind of see there's a small plate well I don't know if you can see it but there's a small plate under here where the sort of fatter metal piece attaches to this skinny metal piece but anyway very very robust feeling clip despite that we have a red finial with the Twisby logo in kind of a silver very nice looking I think at the back here, we have the blind cap for the piston mechanism. We also have a threading here and a gasket. So if I take the cap off, when I screw it into place here, the gasket kind of really locks the cap into place. So you're not going to fling the cap. There's no chance of the cap really coming loose at all. It's a nice feature. I do find that I have a hard time getting the cap to end up where I want it. Not a big deal, but I do find that somewhat annoying. Inside the cap you can kind of see this extra little sleeve here, which is sort of more of a smoky uh, colored plastic that just keeps the seal on the nib. Now with the cap off, we have a Yovo nib. I don't actually know what size they call this. I th think it's a five. I I'm not really sure. If you compare it to the Twisby Diamond, they are the same length, but the Twisby Diamond nib is, is wider. I actually think the VAC mini nib is more attractive in its shape. Also the other interesting thing, you can see that the, the grip section up at the top of the 580 diamond is fatter than the VAC mini. But at the bottom where you hold it, the VAC mini is actually thicker than the diamond. So it's a very comfortable, it really works like a full-sized pen. So even though it's called the mini, I don't really consider this a particularly mini pen. It, it works like a full-sized, comfortable pen. Now, in terms of filling this, as the name Vac Mini suggests, it's a vacuum filler. So you unscrew this cap, you pull this out, the metal rod kind of comes out, and there's a, a seal in here, and you'll see there's kind of a resistance, no air, you know, you're you're trapping air in there and it's not, it, it's pushing back on you. Now if you look at the body here, you can see at the end it kind of comes out. Now it's completely smooth on the outside, but on the inside it's bigger at this section here. And that is where it, it allows air in and pulls the ink into the, the body. And usually when I'm filling this, I'll do it a couple of times. Now, I've had this pen for, I think, at least six years. And at the time I bought this pen, Twisby made an inkwell called the VAC 20, which I have here. And this inkwell, unfortunately, was not compatible with this pen. It was only compatible with the VAC 700. But now they only sell a version called the VAC 20A, which has an extra piece 
it has an extra piece that screws in here that allows you to directly stick the pen in the ink well, screw it in, and fill your pen that way without any mess, basically. So when I fill, when I use this to fill my VAC 700, the, I screw the pen into the top here and then I hold it upside down like this and pump it a few times and I get a really good fill every time. And it's also quite nice when you don't have a lot of ink left. It really makes this pen super easy to fill and it's no mess. So I do recommend if, if you have this pen or going to buy this pen, getting that inkwell with it is, I think, well worth it. Now, with a regular inkwell or ink bottle, it's still easy. It's just not, you just do this a couple of times with the, the nib in the ink. It's not as clean, but it works pretty well. So back to the grip section, it's pretty, it's, it's straight. It's totally straight until you get to this metal ring at the end, which does kind of flare out. Very comfortable. They sell this pen with a variety of nibs. I think they do extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 millimeter stub for an extra $5. Very nice writing nibs. I have not had any issues with Twisby nibs. They've all been great writers for me. Now, let's do some measurements. Capped, we're looking at, I would say that's about 124 millimeters, roughly. Uncapped, 115 millimeters. Posted, about 149 millimeters, roughly. Now, in terms of the, the grip section here, at the part where you would actually grip it, about 9.9 .9 millimeters. So it's a, it's a good, well, actually, it, maybe it does flare a little bit because it is wider up here, 10.2 to about 9.8. So good size grip section, very comfortable. Now, in terms of the weight, looking at 24.7 grams, not, not particularly heavy. 15.42 grams uncapped, and again, that's without ink, obviously. So let's do the writing sample. This is a Rhodia web notebook. Sorry to keep changing the paper on you guys, but I don't know what I did with the moo. So this is the Twisby Vac, uh, Vac Mini. Jeez, can't remember what pen this is. Fine. And this is the Rover and Cleaner Alt Gold Grun. Okay. Fast running. Yeah. It's a pretty smooth nib. Don't really have any complaints about its performance. It works like it should. There's not it's it's quite smooth. In terms of reverse writing. It seems pretty decent at it. In terms of flexibility, there really isn't too much here. You can get a little bit of line variation, but again, not a flex nib. I don't really advise that. Yep, well that's the writing sample for the Twisby Vac Mini. So what are my pros and cons for the Twisby Vac Mini? I think the biggest pro here is definitely that filling system. The vacuum filler gives you a large ink capacity and you get that ink shut off. So if you're traveling, you're flying, changes in cabin pressure aren't gonna cause this thing to leak. And I think the smaller size lends it to being you know, a really excellent travel pen. When it's posted, you really get a full size pen. 
And you have a full-size nib, very nice writing Yovo nib. This is one of my favorite pens to travel with. I also really like the polycarbonate that Twisby uses. It just feels really nice and it looks really nice. So what are my cons for the Twisby Vac Mini? I don't really have a lot of cons for this pen. You know, styling, people might not like this. It's definitely not a super professional looking pen. That's really it. It's $60. I think that's a pretty reasonable price. Those are my pros and cons for the Twisby Vac Mini. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.